Okay, I'm going to show you how to use Procreate to trace or draw out different SVGs. So we're going to go with a, a new canvas, this little plus sign over here and this little guy right there. You're going to create a new one. You can really pick whatever size you want. I go with the 2100 pixels. That's just what I use. It makes it to where it's big enough to when I draw out my lines, when I transfer it over to Illustrator, it, it's not too small. So I would just hit create and then it would bring me into it. Right here, these two little squares right here, that's where your layers are. You always have your background color. It's just white. If you don't have it, it's kind of hard. Like if I was in here, it's kind of hard to see what you're doing, especially if you have, you know, thin work or something. So we're just gonna, this little arrow down here at the bottom left there is undo. I'm just gonna turn it back on by clicking that little check there, right? <clears throat> I like drawing in layers. It's just easier. So one of my favorite things with Procreate is to where if I draw a circle, that's really not the best circle, right? If I, you know, want to have a cleaner one, I draw it and then I just hold my pencil and see it pops. You hit edit shape and you can change the sizings and then just hit wherever it'll undo. And then sometimes when you just do it like so there you go just hold it in place it'll bring up you know circle there you go that is a perfect circle there right so this little square adds you another layer so i like working in layers Let, let's just draw another circle here that's not a very good circle but so if I wanted to, let's say, make a really weirdly shape uh, Mickey head, I'm erasing here and I don't have to worry if I'm going to delete that other layer there. Right here, I'm just gonna turn up my eraser brush size because it's on a different layer. I'm gonna hit undo, okay. So like if I, you know, do this, and I just wanted to erase a section, it's not going to delete it, right? Okay, so let's just, oh, I went too far, just go back. There you go. I'm just zooming in and zooming out by, how I do that is I'm placing my two fingers on the screen and to move it out, I move my fingers closer together to bring it in closer. I'm moving my two fingers apart while holding onto the screen. Right, and then that same thing is kind of with lines. So that's not a very straight line. I'm just gonna hold it and it will adjust it. And I'm still holding my pencil onto the screen here and I'm just wiggling around. You know, he's click on the edit shape, click on arc. That's how I get those lovely arcs like that. So, and then the same thing can be for, you know, squares, just hold it in place. Now you have a square, that was not a very good one. You can go rectangle, polyline, square. So it's, I kind of like how it makes it easier because my hand kind of shake a little bit. It makes it really hard, right? So I'm just gonna delete these out. So, oh, wait, hmm. I can't, let's go add that in there and then I can delete it, okay. So let's say that, <clears throat> For brushes you just touch it a couple of times over here I have a whole bunch of added in ones that I've made or I've bought but for any kind of drawing I pick the inking pen and I click click on technical this is how you can edit or even create your own brushes and whatever you're doing here it'll you know adjust it and the taper, I mean everything. So I'm gonna hit cancel because that's my favorite one. I don't wanna change it. Oh, let's get out of there. Okay, so over here is the brush size. This right here, this, how I'm getting this is 
that little square in between these two lovers over here, this is how you pick up colors, right? So obviously it's white, so then this square up here, it's gonna change it white. But if I had this color and I touch that square in between, I could, it's gonna pick up that coloring. And then up here, this, this circle changes to that color. So if I wanted to pick up a specific color, that, that's how it works. But the colors you have, you can use the disc. There's, moving around, you have your classic way. You have the harmony way with the two different ones. The values or your palettes. You can make your own palettes. You can, if I wanted to change the name to whatever I wanted, I use a, a palette generating app to help me with my different color palettes. But for now, I just kind of just want to go back to black. So, and then this, this bar right here is the opacity. Like if I just wanted it to be very faint, or even all the way. So I'm just gonna delete that layer out. So if I wanted to add in something to use as a reference or an image that I kinda like cartoon character I wanted to trace, this little bar right here. You go to add, insert a file, photo, take a photo. This is even where you could add text but I'm going to insert a photo because I know that I have a lot of Pokemon. <laughs> Don't ask why, I just have a lot of Pokemon in there. So I am just gonna place this little guy wherever I want him here, okay? So I have uniform selected. If I did freeform, it wouldn't, it wouldn't keep the right sizing. It would make him look kinda funky. So you can hit fit to screen or make them a specific size, you know, just play around with it. And so that one's all done. To get out of it, I just touch kind of anywhere up here. If I wanted to trace this guy, um, I'm gonna add in, this would be my tracing layer here, but it would be kind of hard to really see what I'm doing here, right? Because it, yeah. So I'm just going to get rid of that, right? So I'm gonna go here to, I'm gonna click on that N and then move the opacity down just however I want it there. And go back to this layer. I'm also gonna make my brush just a different size. There we go. Okay. So I could sit here and I'm gonna hold it and it's going to help me get the perfect arc. There we go. And that was not the perfect shape <laughs> at all. So if I wanted to use this bottom section, which I do kind of do that sometimes, and now I'm doing this section here on a different layer. This is going to be the arc of it. We are just going to edit it a bit. I don't know, if I wanted it, you know, here. Okay, so another reason I use the layers. So now I can, you know, erase that section out. I can erase this section out. And then the same for here. I could just erase all of this section out as well. And to combine them, I just click on there, merge down, and it's all one. To fill in a color, it's gonna kinda, as long as your lines are thick enough, it'll work. You just press on there and hold down and drag it to wherever, and now it's completely filled in, and unlike some of the other drawing apps, you zoom in, you do not see a thin, empty area that you're gonna have to fill in.